Hey guys, good evening. It's Nigel over here in Fukuoka, Japan, coming at you with a new enzyme video. Um, today, I was at a local farmer's market about an hour away from my city here, and uh, we found a old lady who was selling these bags of enzymes, and she was showing before and after pictures of the product and it looked pretty impressive the parsley was small on the left and on the right the parsley was big and growing lots of beautiful greens um, the product is called the Hikari enzymes and it's 800 grams it's enough to do approximately 15 kilograms of soil or something like that you can do a wide base of soil but I'm not going to be doing that because I'm going to be using this with container rain gutter uh, garden type systems. It's uh, got a combination of small fish, shrimps, seaweed, and fermented rice starch. Now this should give the soil a really good boost that it needs of enzymes and also nitrogen. Um, as we know, salmon, they drop a lot of uh, dead, uh, sorry, bears, they eat a lot of salmon and they drop those salmon into the forest. And that creates a lot of nitrogen, which the trees love. And in the Pacific Northwest or British Columbia, that has some of the biggest trees in the world because over hundreds of years, these bears have been dropping lots of the dead fish into the forest. A lot of uh, old farmers, they will take some fish and drop that right into the soil. So this isn't anything new. This has been done for a lot of, um, you know, hundreds of years by farmers and whatnot. What I'm gonna do to do this test is I've got two peppers here. Uh, the first one is a chipotle and I've marked it blue and the one in the red is the one I'm going to do the test with. I'm going to add about one tablespoon of the powder to each red plant that I have over here. And I've got chipotles, uh, chipotles, early jalapenos, and a togarashi. So let's get started. Okay, the first one I have is a chipotle chili that was started um, March the 4th. I'm going to add one teaspoon, and I'm gonna actually add a combination of two teaspoons. I'm just gonna take that and just work it into the soil like so. Now the lady told me, uh, basically you just take about one scoop and then just work it in the topsoil and that'll just slowly release into the root system. So there's probably different ways you could go about this. We're adding it directly to the soil, but this is the way I'm going to do it. So the first one is done. Okay. The next one is another Chipotle. Um, this is no chemicals and only natural ingredients. Okay. And the next one is a early jalapeno. stuff is quite smelly. It uh, smells really fishy, as you would expect. And the next one is a togarashi that was started in April 29th. This one I'm only going to add one because it's quite a small little pot. Okay, so there you have it. I have done all four plants. Okay, all the plants have been done. The enzymes have been added. Um, I'm gonna come back with a video update in about one week, and let's see if we can see any difference in the plants. So come on, let's go, Hikari enzymes. I hope this stuff works. Um, it's time for me to go sit down, relax, Gonna have myself a glass of red wine and watch these babies grow. As Larry would say, grow baby grow. Thanks guys. 